Well, I mean, I think one of the one of the things I've always tried to follow in life is that that if on Monday morning I'm not excited to go to work, I do two things. Number one, I don't go to work. And number two, I hit the reset button. you look at a person like uh, Jeff Bezos or Amazon uh, that's what they do they basically throw a lot of stuff against the wall uh, they're all relatively small bets most of them don't work uh, but a few do and then uh, when they do you get huge payoffs figuring out intrinsic value is a non trivial exercise and you may actually make errors in figuring that out you owned amazon at some point in your portfolio and uh, it looked optically overvalued amazon's always looked optically overvalued because they're you know putting their earnings into so many other initiatives that their earnings look artificially low markets get confused uh, between risk and uncertainty <laughs> the essence of the of the genius of buffett and munger is they absolutely understand the power of compounding You know, you don't really need to do extraordinary things to get extraordinary results. If you can double... uh your money every 3 years uh then you know a few doubles starts adding some significant numbers i mean if you if you start with a million dollars in 30 years it becomes a billion if you start with 10000 it becomes 10 million it's just incredible in terms of what happens <laughs> you're probably best off never touching excel <laughs> right so excel has nothing to do with investing if you're going to invest at a minimum you got to know what the entire business is selling for and would you be willing to put 50 60% of your total family assets if you had that much into that business we invest in auction driven markets auction driven markets have this peculiar characteristic that they can swing quite extremely in both directions Charlie Munger says that if you owned the Ford dealership or you know partially or completely the Ford dealership in Peoria Illinois and you owned the McDonald's franchise in Peoria Illinois and you owned the best apartment building in Peoria Illinois and those were the only three assets you had and you had like kind of one third in two in each of them and basically and you could have partial ownership or complete ownership either way let's say those were all listed businesses for example he would consider that a extremely well diversified good portfolio <laughs> a 
आजा आजा जिंद शामी आने के तले आजा जरी वाले नीले आजमाने के तले आजा आजा जिंद शामी आने के तले आजा जरी वाले नीले 